to another W Tears 1 video. It is January 2016 and it has been a long time since I have done a, um, a review of a locomotive. I've had several items that I could have reviewed. I've just never really been in the mood. Um, that's kind of how I am. I, I'm lazy. Um, but I want to review this because it's kind of something different. Not necessarily different but kind of special because if you look at the end of the box it's a Bachman Sound Value SD70 ACE, but there's an important uh, part on this box uh, with ditch lights. And if you think that means that it has working ditch lights, uh, you would be correct. Um, this was sort of secretly, or not secretly, but very subtly added uh, to this. I looked on the Bachman forums. There's only a couple of threads that I had ever popped up about them. Um, I got kind of confused when I saw it on the box. I'm like, there's no way that these things have working ditch lights. Because I know that was one of the number one complaints on the Bachman SD70s and the ES44s. And they've actually added it to the, to the new uh, ES44, the other half of the units, um, was the working ditch lights. Because the price for them was as much as some of the higher end models that did have working ditch lights. As you probably know, I have three. Um, well, actually, I've done reviews of two of them, but I have three different... Um, Intermountain ES44, Southern Central of Georgia, and LNN, and all those had working ditch lights. And I got all of those for, um, I want to say less than $200 a piece. So that was pretty good. And two of them have ESU sound. One of them has uh, Tsunami sound, that'd be the LNN one. Um, and then these, of course, have uh, Tsunami sound, a little bit cut down, um, but still really good. I mean, actually, I think it may have a couple of the same sounds as the uh, LNN ES44 that I have. But Let's go ahead and get this open. Um, inside the box, of course, you have the, the shell that it all fits in along with some uh, typical Bachman paperwork. I'm going to sit the locomotive down. Um, you've got the quick start guide. We'll go over some of the functions in that. Um, and then, of course, you have typical uh, Bachman uh, warranty papers, um, DCC information, uh, warranty registration card, along with a catalog card. Um, and the all-important uh, exploded diagram for the locomotive. There you go. That has all the parts and part numbers in case you need to replace something if it breaks. Um, and then, of course, you have what everybody is concerned about, uh, the locomotive itself. So if you open up the shell, it unlocks at the end, opens up like that, has some plastic protection in there. I'll set this out of the way. And you have a gorgeous locomotive. Um, I was actually kind of surprised by the detail on this thing for a, for a Bachman model, but it is fantastic. Um, of course, having the working ditch lights makes all the difference to me because I've got already three other locomotives that match, so getting this for my uncle with the working ditch lights for Christmas was kind of a, a nice surprise because it fits right in. Um, of course, there is some detail differences, or not differences, but some uh, detail left out on this locomotive as compared to something a little bit more expensive like Intermountain, uh, MTH. Um, Aldern, I think, makes some. Walters makes them. There's a ton of people that make the heritage units. But the, the Bachman ones are, especially with the working ditch lights, are actually really nice. Um, so up front, of course, you have the working ditch lights that are actually on their own separate function. I'll go look at the quick start guide because that wasn't actually on the quick start guide for this locomotive. Um, I, I was kind of surprised when I put it on the track. Um, I'll, I'll explain that when we get it to the track. But a uh, really nice Savannah and Atlanta logo on the front here. MU uh, hoses and cables along with the plastic Easy Mate uh, knuckle couplers. Um, probably going to replace those with scale Katie's at some point in the future. Um, I've got to get some first, though. Uh, nice sturdy handrails, nice separately painted um, chain there in the middle so it stands out. Um, nice safety uh, painted um, steps along with uh, some small little 
safety plates in there. The camera will focus. Uh, nice truck detail. Uh, there's um, little like very kind of fragile sanding peat, uh, tubes. At least I think that's sanding. I could be wrong. Uh, most of the truck details molded in though. Uh, those are molded in as well. But there's a lot of like little detail that I'm kind of surprised you can get in with the mold. Um, nice uh, numbering uh, and um, Savannah and Atlanta logo along with a really nice paint job. Um, separately applied horn on top. Um, see-through fan grills at least. They're, they're sort of see-through. Um, the back one is not. These two kind of are. They have a little bit of depth. They're not They're not very deep but there is um, some ability to see through there a little bit. There's a, a nice handbrake wheel uh, on the back, as you can see there, along with more uh, warning plates and labels and things like that. Um, more electrical warnings up here with some molded in detail with doors. Of course, you have molded in doors all the way down the locomotive. A nice separately painted um, fuel tank detail down here on the bottom, like a little fuel gauge, some knobs and buttons, a nice molded in, or at least um, th those may be actually separately applied um, tanks on the bottom like nice uh, kind of detail molded into the frame uh, on the back uh, same um, nice handrails sturdy handrails all along the locomotive um, of course working uh, backup light the, the ditch lights do uh, light up when they're in reverse they do not flash like the front ones do I was surprised they even flashed so uh, of course, intermountain ones don't flash either, and as far as I know, that may not be the case on the prototype. I've never, of course, seen the ditch lights on the back of an ES44 lit before, so I don't know. Um, more molded in detail, pretty similar to the other side uh, with the doors, hatches, and things like that. Uh, similar fuel tank detail here. If you look on the bottom, of course, you have DCC sound value uh, written, the Bachman molded in, uh, speaker grade, uh, speaker grill. Um, and then uh, your um, six axle trucks, or three axle trucks, six axles for the entire locomotive. Back up on the cab, uh, there's some nice uh, window detail, sun visor running along the top. Um, I don't know what this is on the prototype on the roof, but I know these are ice skate antennas on there. Uh, Santa hatch covers on the front on both sides, um, and the uh, windshield wipers uh, on the front windows along with uh, the same nice detail on the windows on the other side with the with the visor and um, little separation panels. So now we've got through uh, some of the details about the uh, locomotive. Uh, let's get it on the track and go through some of the functions. Okay, so I've got the locomotive on the track uh, and now I'm going to apply track power so you can hear it uh, start up. So that's it started. Uh, F0 turns on the headlight. Uh, and F5, um, I'll put a, a shot of this um, in, the, in the video. Um, there is no F5 actually listed for this locomotive, um, according to the chart in the quick start guide, but it actually turns on the ditch lights. So the ditch lights are on. All the lights have a nice warm glow, um, more realistic to the prototype instead of a really bright white or, or yellow in some of Bachman's cases. Uh, F1 is the bell. F2 is the longhorn, uh, and that will make the ditch lights flash. So I was really surprised when I first started that up. Um, when you put this thing on DC, all the lights come on and the, the ditch lights don't blink, so I just assume they're on the headlight function. Uh, but in fact, they are on their own separate function and do flash, which uh, good on Bachman for that because that was the last thing I was expecting from this locomotive. So if you can see the, the ditch lights flashing back and forth, um, and then they go back solid um, after a couple of seconds after the locomotive, uh, after you stop blowing the horn. Uh, F3 is the short horn. That does not make the lights flash. Um, and then it says F4 is dynamic brakes. Uh, 
Of course, zit F5 is the uh, number boards, or not number boards, ditch lights. Uh, F6 doesn't do anything in this locomotive. It does on a DDA40X, or DD40AX. Um, F7 dims the headlight. You might have been able to see that dim just a little bit. And then, of course, F8 is mute. And that uh, is actually all of the functions. Uh, you have uh, several different things you can program. Um, you have uh, eight notches of engine exhaust. We'll go over that in just a minute with uh, running. Um, you have three different uh, air horns to choose from. So that's just one of uh, two other uh, horns that you can choose on the locomotive. This is the default. Um, and then uh, that, that, that's actually really the only, you have speed adjustment, um, acceleration, and things like that that you can adjust. But otherwise, fairly uh, skimmed down decoder, but it's still really good, and, and especially for the, the value, the price that you can probably find these things at, because Bachman generally has some really deep discounts on their locomotives. I'm not going to be able to make the locomotive do a full loop because I've got so much stuff in the way um, in terms of other trains. But I can go back and forth in a, in a fairly long stretch of track that I have here. So I've got the camera in one hand, remote in the other, because I couldn't find a shorter tripod. Um, so I'm going to unmute it, and then we're going to hear the other stuff. So for those of you who are curious, I'm going to open this up all the way full throttle to see what it can do, um, whether that's realistic or not. Um, we'll see. Uh, probably not, uh, given models, but hey, I know some people uh, like a, a fast locomotive regardless. So that's full speed. Very smooth runner. Of course, like I said, the uh, ditch lights don't flash on the back. But I have no idea how that is in real life either. Most of the time, um, SD70s and locomotives like this don't generally run long hood forward. Right now, these locomotives are on sale on model train stuff for $139.99, which is a fantastic price, especially for a sound equipped model. And without sitting this next to another model of the same engine from a different manufacturer, most people aren't going to just be able to look at this and tell, oh, this is a Bachman model. The ditch lights was one of the biggest improvements that I think they've made um, 
to the ES-44s and SD-70s in this case um, that they could have to kind of rectify some of the main complaints. Um, so if you find these things for, for cheap, um, and like I said, Bachman stuff's really cheap, and of course this is on sale right now for 139 on model train stuff. I'll link that in the description. Um, but otherwise, great model. Um, definitely glad to have it in my collection. Um, especially to add to my uh, what, what few heritage units I have. And having something that's kind of kind of local, um, at least in the Georgia area, is really nice. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.